evaluating a limit numerically. The problem on the screen would be read aloud the limit of f of x as x approaches 3. This part of the problem is read aloud the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 when f of x equals x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. When evaluating any limit, it's a good idea to first try direct substitution. First try direct substitution. And in this case, f of 3, we're evaluating the limit as x approaches 3. Substituting a 3 in for x yields 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3, which is 0 over 0. That's a number that does not exist. 0 over 0 is called the indeterminate form. And it doesn't tell us anything about what the limit is other than 0 over 0 implies the limit does exist. So, although f of 3 is undefined, whenever we did direct substitution and put a 3 in for x, we got 0 over 0, which means f of 3 is undefined. But since we got the indeterminate form 0 over 0, that implies that the limit as x approaches 3 does exist. When we look at f of x, x squared minus 9 over x minus 3, it's important to note that the domain of f of x, the possible values for x, is all numbers except 3. So although f of 3 is undefined, every other value for f of x is defined. And when evaluating a limit numerically, we're going to take advantage of that. To evaluate a limit numerically, set up a table that has the value that you are evaluating the limit for in the middle, and then values just a little bit smaller than that on the left, and values a little bit bigger than that to the right. In this table, below 3, I have 2.99, 2.9, and 2. And to the right, I have 3.01, 3.1, and 4. Those values are all numbers that are a little bit bigger than 3. And realize that all of these numbers are part of the domain of f of x. If I evaluate f of 2 or f of 2.9 or f of 2.99, those values will all, will all exist because the domain of f of x is all numbers except 3. And what we hope to see when we complete this table is a pattern, a pattern that shows that although f of 3 doesn't exist, the function is approaching a certain value, f of x is approaching a certain value, as x approaches 3. For example, when evaluating f of 2, if I put a 2 in for x, 2 squared minus 9 over 2 minus 3 is equal to 5. And when I evaluate f of 4, 4 squared minus 9 over 4 minus 3 is 7. Now that evaluating one value on each side of 3 is not enough information to accurately determine the limit with 100% uh, efficiency. You, you can't be absolutely sure that the limit is between 5 and 7 even, much less exactly halfway between 5 and 7. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't be. To be confident that your answer for the limit as x approaches 3 is accurate, you should evaluate quite a few values that are smaller than 3, just a little bit smaller than 3, and just a little bit bigger than 3. Let's evaluate f of 2.9. Let's put a 2.9 in for x. And when doing these on your own, a calculator is helpful. But 2.9 squared minus 9 over 2.9 minus 3 is actually 5.9. And f of 2.99. If we evaluate 2.99 squared minus 9 over 2.99 minus 3, we're going to get 5.99. Now it appears, as I put numbers that are smaller than 3 in for x, the closer those values get to 3, the closer that f of x is getting to 6. I started out at 5, then got to 5.9, then 5.99. Again, when evaluating a limit, you have to be very careful 
and evaluate numbers on both sides, in this case on both sides of 3, and more than just 1 or 2. Let's evaluate f of 3.1. 3.1 squared minus 9 over 3.1 minus 3 is 6.1. And finally, f of 3.01, 3.01 squared minus 9 over 3.01 minus 3 is 6.01. So at this point, I've evaluated three values, a little bit smaller than three and a little bit bigger than three. And as I approached three from the left, from numbers that are smaller than three, it looks like those values for f of x are approaching six. And from the right, when I evaluated numbers that were a little bit bigger than three, they were also approaching six. And because both of those are the case, I can say that the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x equals 6. This would be read aloud again. The limit of f of x as x approaches 3 equals 6. Mm -hmm.